This is the Wizard News. The FCC has until December 27, 2023, to comply with a court order requiring the agency to conclude its still pending 2018 quadrennial review of its local broadcast ownership rules, including local radio ownership limits. The restrictions on combinations of two of the top four TV stations in any market and the dual network rule forbidding common ownership of two of the top four TV networks. With that deadline in sight, lobbying at the FCC on how the FCC should conclude the proceeding has increased. Gray Television recently told the FCC that it should not tighten its television ownership rules due to the negative impact it would have on small and rural television markets. The National Association of Broadcasters urged the FCC to relax its radio ownership rules to enable radio broadcasters to better compete with digital audio platforms through greater scale and economic efficiencies. Music industry groups told the FCC that the current radio ownership restrictions should be maintained to preserve and promote not only ownership diversity, but viewpoint diversity through music and lyrics. An individual who formerly worked as a broadcaster urged the FCC to use its broadcast ownership rules to promote more small, local, and minority ownership in radio. An automotive industry group published a blog article in opposition to the AM Radio for Every Vehicle Act now pending in Congress, an act which would mandate the installation of AM radios in all new cars, including electric vehicles. The blog article cited a study claiming that compliance with such a mandate would cost automakers $3.8 billion. The NAB responded, stating that the Congressional Budget Office released a report which estimated that compliance would actually cost automakers only a fraction of that amount. The White House's recent executive order regarding artificial intelligence encourages the FTC to exercise its authority to promote a fair, open, and competitive AI system. The FTC announced that it will consider at this open meeting whether to initiate a proceeding examining how to use its authority to protect consumers from AI-enabled voice cloning harms such as fraud and the broader misuse of biometric data and creative content. The FTC also filed comments in the Copyrights Office proceeding, exploring the copyright implications of AI, which stated that the FTC might consider AI's impact on the creative community to be an unfair trade practice, which would be an interesting suggested expansion of the FTC's usual regulatory focus. Source, Broadcast Law Blog, November 12, 2023.